So you're a professional comedian. Yep. So can you be funny on command? Um, like now? Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another Vegan Nugget. When you see a vegan on mainstream television, they're usually portrayed as either the buzzkill to every social event the characters attempt to partake in, the strange hippie who lives on wheatgrass juice and coffee enemas, the militant activist who throws fake blood on you for wearing Crocs, just because they're named after an animal, or something similarly ridiculous. This is why when an actual vegan gets on mainstream television, it can be a very exciting opportunity, especially when said vegan has the unique ability to find humor and optimism in the darker aspects of life. For those of you who don't know, Mike Kaplan, spelled in the most unique manner possible, was a 2010 Last Comic Standing finalist and has appeared on The Tonight Show, The Late Show with David Letterman, Comedy Central Presents, Conan, and now America's Got Talent. The show that proves America has more than diabetes, obesity, and more knowledge of our favorite celebrities' personal life than international events which we'll talk about more in this video's wrap up. If you missed my first interview with Mike, you can find it linked up there and down below. You can also listen to Mike's podcast, Hang Out With Me, which I had the pleasure of being on, also linked below. And he has some awesome-tastic CDs with titles like Vegan Mind Meld, Meat Robot, and Small Dork and Handsome. He and his girlfriend, Casey, were kind enough to lend me some of their time recently. And my dog, Ubi, is also on the porch with us, so you may hear some rustling. Mike is a rarity for more than his name and non-stereotypical TV vegan style. He's also an optimistic vegan. So while I had his time, I decided to ask him about how he finds humor within a world so full of suffering. I think a lot of the times, like, there's a stereotype, well, there's a lot of stereotypes about vegans, but I think one of them is that vegans are really serious all of the time. And so you're, you're you know, on the, being a, a vegan comedian, how is it that you find, like, humor within that? I mean, I think that it's sort of a very simple idea that, you know, that, I mean, everybody contains multitudes, you know, and there are, you know, some people that are vegans that probably are more serious because, I, and I understand, like, for any, any type of, uh, like, civil right or social justice or activism, like, there are people who are like, oh, racism, like, that's a serious thing, like, don't make jokes about it, but then, of course, look at Chris Rock or, you know, Dave Chappelle or Kamau Bell or, you know, anybody who is, like, talking about that, like, you can talk about serious things in funny ways, and often that, it, it's not that that's the only place that comedy comes from, but comedy often comes from places of, uh, you know, suffering, conflict, uh, you know, moral gray areas. Like, when I, when I look at Louis C.K., say, so much of his social commentary is just him saying a reasonable thing, which I think an like a kind of objectively reasonable thing, but society has gone off in an unreasonable direction. Like, you know, sometimes he'll, he'll say, like, it's, it's great to be white, you know? And, you know, talk about his relationship with Chris Rock, and, you know, Chris Rock will ask him, like, still good to be white? And he's like, absolutely! You know, like, and that is... Like, why, you know, on paper, is that a joke? Not necessarily, but given the context of, like, how, you know, white privilege exists, how, you know, we're certainly still not at a place where class and uh, race are things that don't matter at all in society. Like, there's still great disparities, obviously, in how people are treated. I, I think one of, the, one of the main ongoing conflicts in my, like, you know, philosophical life is when there is injustice, what is the ideal response to it? Is it, you know, proportional anger to that injustice? Or is it, you know, sort of an idea that, okay, Buddhist-wise, like, there, there is suffering, and try to enjoy yourself the most within the context of the life that involves so much suffering, and also, of course, strive to decrease the suffering as much as possible for yourself, for others, like, sometimes comedy comes from, like, relating to people and being like, hey, here's a thing that we all think, but from a different perspective, like, or we all, have you ever noticed this? But also, a lot of comedy comes from, like, here's my specific, you know, unique, different, weird, alternative point of view about sometimes a thing, like, could be about dating, it could be about, you know, a common topic that a lot of people deal with. If the world were a utopia where everyone and everything, every being was treated the way I would ideally 
treat them and you know and that like life resonated exactly on all of my ideal frequencies then maybe I wouldn't have as much comedy like on the subject but uh, that'd be fine I would gladly trade all my jokes uh, about social justice for a world full of social justice and then I guess just a more silly wordplay I hope you enjoy hearing from Mike on finding humor and even joy in a world that's not always so joyful and humorous. Tomorrow, Tuesday, August 18th, Mike will be competing on NBC's America's Got Talent at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central. I'm not quite sure on the other time zones, but I will have links posted below, and you can vote for him to stay safe from elimination. I'll post the links below on where and how to vote, so you can check those out to keep his vegan butt on TV. If you enjoyed this optimistic nugget, give this video a big thumbs up and share it around to get the word out for Mike's appearance tomorrow. If you're new here, do hit that big red Red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. If you want to help support Bite Size Vegan, check out either of the support links in the video description below or click on the Nugget Army icon or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, remember to laugh, and I'll see you soon. Could be used like the inordinate amounts. <laughs> Dog making noise in background. <laughs>